Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, we are here, we are back, and we are... It's a car review, would you believe it or not? Yes, still still traversing around, and uh, there's a new item out. There's a brand new, well, fairly new item, and uh, this one is from Popeyes. Now, the last video that I did, I was kind of saying that, you know, well, in terms of what's going on in the world of, of new releases... There's not a lot. There's not a new. There's not a lot of new things going on. You had Burger King with their uh, spicy nuggets, right? You had Arby's with their, uh, you know, cheddar ranch, uh, you know, sandwich or whatever that one was called. Popeyes has a new one. It just came out. It's just been released. People said this is the item of 2020. I saw one person saying that, but there might be another person saying that. So that's why I used the plural. It is an item in 2020, so I guess it, it could be THE item, though. That's what I'm trying to emphasize. I mean, this could be it, right? This could be it. Popeyes, I think, I think they've been seeing what these reviews are, and I think they took incentive. Because at first you see this and you think it's just another item, you gotta put the pieces together. Like, this is one of those items that really makes you think, okay? It makes you, it makes you, it, it gets those, those gears going, let me tell you. Because look at this. The first item that was released recently was from Burger King, Spicy Nuggets, all right? And follow me here, chicken item, Spicy Nuggets. The second item that was released was from Arby's, chicken with ranch. What do we have here? They're Buffalo Ranch Tenders. Wow, this is incredible. So we're digging deep here. We found the origins, we found the backstory, and we know where this came from, and I'm... I'm just wasting time with that one. No, they just came up with this at the boardroom, and you know, people like their buffalo stuff, and this is uh, no exception. So here's what we got, just to, instead of beating around the bush here, let's get right into it. It's $5, and it's a buffalo ranch tender meal deal. All right, so it comes with fried chicken tenders, all right, like your, you know, chicken strips, right? Breaded, fried, crispy. And then it's drizzled with a buffalo ranch sauce, okay? So when they say buffalo ranch tenders, like whenever I see the name first and foremost, it invokes this image that it's like, all right, these are tossed in the sauce, right? They're getting lost in the sauce. They're dripping and drenched with sauce. No, these don't have a ton of sauce on them, but that's intentional. You get it and you see, oh, it's just got like a little blotch here and there of the sauce. People will think they did a really bad job. No, this is what it's supposed to be. It's just supposed to have this little drizzle of sauce. And you're gonna see in a minute of this Buffalo Ranch sauce. And then it also comes with a buttermilk ranch sauce that you could dip it in, okay? So it's supposed to have a little bit of spice, a little bit of a punch, and then that mixture of the ranch, maybe to help help cool the uh, the metaphorical flames there. Again, it's a five dollar deal, and uh, available here at Popeyes. So that's what we've got. I'm just trying to find a place to get my little paper. Here we go. I'm gonna sip of water first. Things are already heating up. Let's see what we got. There's the Popeyes box right there, with its little uh, little design on it. What does it say? Love that chicken. Oh, there's Louisiana right there. It's the state of Louisiana. No law. That's what it says right there. There's the chicken. Popeye's, Popeye's Street, right? That's where all the Popeye's are located. Oh, famous Louisiana chicken. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. See, I got the fries as the side. And right now, you can't see the chicken. So let's get the fries out of the way. Just for a little bit anyway. All right, see if I kind of, if I balance it and I could figure this out. There you go, there's the chicken right there. See, I always like it when the when the fries are down first and then you could see the chicken on top. They kind of reversed the order right there. Instead you get the fries, the chicken, and then the fries. That's the one thing, but I don't know, I don't really care. If the product is good, the product is good. I'm not gonna complain about the fact that the fries are on top of the chicken this time and not the other way around. It just makes it a little difficult to get the best optimal view, but I always try to take that into account. So we're just gonna grab a piece of chicken right now and we're just gonna hold it up so you can get that close-up shot. And hopefully you got a good view of the box. All right, there it is, I'm right there. You can see it's got a drizzle. Sauce a drizzle, okay? Let's try to zoom in and focus on that. When it's in the dark, I think it gets a little bit of a better better look at it, because you can see that there's some sauce on it, but not everywhere. Not everywhere. Kind of looks like a, like a giant fish. 
not really, I don't know where that came from, but now you can just see what it looks like. So it's got a little bit of sauce drizzle on it, and uh, we're just gonna see how it tastes. So uh, that's everything that there is to it, just a crispy tender, got a little tiny bit of buffalo sauce on it. We're gonna see how this tastes. So it is the Buffalo Ranch Tenders from Popeyes, they're going in. I can kind of see it's 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 fairly tender. I mean, this piece has ripped off real easy. Mm. One more bite. I'll tell you right now what disappoints me about this item. And it's not the way that it tastes. That's not what it is. Because to tell you the truth, do I think the chicken is pretty good? I do. Um, I think it's decent. I think the chicken is, is, you know, it's fairly juicy, but nice and crispy, well seasoned, well breaded. I like it. For chicken tenders, they're pretty good. So if you're saying, all right, well, um, if it's not the way the chicken tastes, then what's bothering you? You know, is it like the sauce? You're not like the way the sauce tastes? No. I like the sauce too. I do. I, uh, you know, the buffalo, the buffalo ranch sauce is a good blend. Not overwhelmingly spicy. It's more of like a flavorful spiciness, right? So it's got this tiny little bit of, of spice. But then you could really taste the creaminess of the ranch that's in there. That's really the more prevailing thing. It's like mildly spicy. You can even say hot. And then you get that creaminess of the ranch in there. But it tastes good. And it works well with the chicken. They might be saying, all right, well, you just described the item. You said you liked the chicken. You said you liked the sauce. And what are you complaining about exactly? Why are you disappointed? Because of the design of the item. That's what I don't like. Now, I don't know why they decided to make it drizzled in the sauce. I really don't. But this needs to be one of those items that's covered in the sauce. That's what it needs to be. Because it's like one bite, you get this sauce, and it's really good. You want more of it. You want the whole thing to be covered in the sauce, but then next bite, there's no sauce whatsoever. It's just your plain chicken tenders. They call these buffalo ranch tenders. You're getting this, you want it to be spicy. You want to taste that ranch. You want to taste that in every bite. You want it to be flavorful, perhaps even overwhelmingly so. And instead you bite into it, you get a little bit of a bite here and there with this good sauce that works well, then it's dry. And then it's dry in the next, no sauce, no sauce, and a tiny little drop of it, and that's it. So it's not the people that worked here. It's not their fault at all. This is how they're told to make it. I mean, they made it exactly as you see it on their website, professional pictures, right? It'd be one thing if like it's supposed to be covered in sauce and this is what you get. But instead, there's just so little sauce on it. Inherently, as the design of this item, it's, it's flawed. And I don't like that at all. You know, it's supposed to, it's supposed to have, I guess you'd say, I don't even know what they were trying to accomplish here because I like the sauce, tastes good, but there's just so little of it and I just don't like that. That's one thing that always, always gets me a little bit with these items. So price-wise for this is $5, five bucks for it. I was looking and this is just a raw video, so I'm just gonna tell it to you straight. Uh, now, I don't know if this really comes with it or not, but it's supposed to come with a buttermilk ranch sauce, and I can't seem to find that sauce. I swear I saw it. I don't see that either, but right now, and maybe I'll just cut in a little a little later. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, but I'm just disappointed by the fact that the sauce that it comes with, that's actually on it, there's so little of it, and I am not a fan of that at all. It needs a lot more sauce, and uh, I'm disappointed. It's, a, it's an item that has a lot of good potential, but it's really lacking on that sauce. It needs more of it. That's my biggest complaint. And that's why, I, that's all that I've been talking about because I like everything else, but it's just, it hit a snag there. That's the issue. So right now, 
uh, out of 10, I'm just gonna have to give it a 4.7 out of 10. So it's got a lot of good potential, but when it's lacking, uh, in my opinion, a quintessential ingredient, that's a big problem. So that's why it's got the rating that it's got. That's all that I have for you at the moment. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and uh, we tried out the Buffalo Ranch Tenders from Popeyes. A bit disappointed today, but it's an item that they could fix pretty easily. Take care, everyone.